we're going to talk about radicals. Um, not that kind of radical. More like this kind of radical. The kind that can be expressed under a funny looking sign or uh, can be expressed as a base raised to a fraction power and in fact it's those fraction powers that we're going to talk about next. Okay, it's time to get serious or relatively serious and do some math and we need a calculator for this. Notice that I have detached the LCD screen so that you can see an enlarged view of the keystrokes I take. Now we're going to do problem number one and we'll probably go to problem number 11 I think it is for this particular recording. Write the following exponential as a radical. All right, remember that bases with fraction exponents are also radicals. That is, they can be expressed as radicals. So we're going to do that. I'm going to click on the answer box. Um, the cube root is what the one-third power is, so I'm going to use this tool. And the denominator of the fraction exponent is the um, um, index, there you go, of the radical. That's going to be 3, so I hit 3, and then the base is 3. And the power on the base is the numerator of the fraction power. However, a 1 is understood. So this is my answer, I check my answer. I'm right, so I move on. This is a very dangerous problem. It looks like we're taking the square root of negative 81, but we're not. Be careful. There are no parentheses here. So what we're doing is we're taking the square root of 81, and there's a negative in front. So if you were doing this on the calculator, you would say negative square root of 81. Enter. And the answer would be negative 9, which is correct. But let me how show you how to do this problem as it is on the calculator. And I know that I'm supposed to give uh, a simplified answer because, one, the instructions say simplify, and two, the instructions say type an integer or a simplified fraction, which means I'm supposed to actually find the answer, not do what I did in the last problem, which was just rewrite the problem. Okay, here we go. If I were doing this just the way it is here in the calculator, I would say negative 81, and then I would click the caret key, And notice that this puts me uh, in an upper box here for an exponent. If you have a, a slightly older calculator, you'll see the caret sign, and then you'll have to use parentheses. I can use them here with no problem at all. I don't really need them, but I'm going to use them just for the sake of students who might need them. I'm going to hit the left um, uh, uh, paren. paren. I'm going to say 1 divided by 2, and then the right paren. So now I have exactly what's, he what's here in my math lab. I hit enter, and there's the answer, negative 9. So I'm going to put negative 9 in the, oh, that's not negative 9. This is negative 9. I'm putting that in the answer box. Very good. And I move along. Now, I do have parentheses here, and I do have a negative sign. So, the 
There's my calculator trying to sneak away. Okay, let's clear. I'm going to write in here exactly what I have out there. Paren negative 64 paren closed caret paren 1 divided by 3 paren closed. Again, those of us who have this upper box don't really need parentheses up here, but I'm doing it for the students who might not have an upper box, in which case you would have hit the caret sign. You'd actually see the caret sign, and then you would put parentheses with 1 divided by 3, which is 1 third in the parentheses. Now I'm ready to hit enter, and there's my answer, negative 4. But what this can also be written as is the cube root. Let me do that. I'm going to go to math. I'm going to go down to the cube root, which is 4. There's cube root. Negative 64. Enter. And again, I would have a negative 4. Now, if you have an older calculator, you would have to use parentheses around your negative 64, even after you made a radical sign. All right, let's put the answer in. Negative 4. Check answer. Yes, this is correct. Let's move on to 4. I'm going to speed up now. What we have here is the square root of 16 to the fifth power. The 5 stays with the 16 as an exponent. The 2 comes out to the front as the invisible index on a square root. So for instance, I could, if I wanted to, say the square root of 16 to the fifth power. And that's what I have right there, and my answer would be 1024. However, let's write in the calculator exactly what you see here, because we're supposed to write an answer. It says type an integer or a simplified fraction. That means actually find the answer and type the answer. So, we're going to have 16 caret, use parentheses if you need them, 5 divided by 2, and I'm going to hit the right arrow key. Uh, that just tells the calculator I'm done, and I'm going to hit Enter. And yes, doing it that way also, I have the answer 1024. 1024 check my answer. I'm right. Let's move on. Negative 81 to the 1 fourth power. Again, there are no parentheses, so the negative sign is separate. Negative 81 up arrow 1 divided by 4. I usually hit the right arrow key to tell the calculator I'm done. Then I hit enter. Negative 3 would be my answer. Check it. Yes. Number 6. 25 to the 1 half power, you should know the answer is going to be 5 because anything raised to the 1 half power, it's the square root of that base being raised to the 1 half power. Nonetheless, you can put this in your calculator, 25 caret, and older calculators, again, need parentheses, 1 divided by 2, enter. Your answer is 5. Also, let's do it the whole story, second x squared, that gives me the square root of 25, 
I hit the right arrow key, enter, I'm done. So the answer is 5. Check my answer. I'm correct. 7. 16, 216 to the one-third power. That's the cube root of 216. So this would be a kind of a correct answer. But let's see. I bet we can go on to something easier like 6. Let's see. 216 carat. Uh, uh, uh. I hit divide. I don't want divide. Carat. 1 divided by 3, right arrow key, enter. It's 6. Yes, 6 is the answer. Terrific. 8. 81 to the 1 fourth power. You see, this is really just so that you can practice with the calculator because you will need to know how to use the calculator. 81 carat 1 divided by 4, enter. Got it. The answer is 3. Correct. Number 9. Oh, this is more interesting. Okay. Now you can put this in your calculator the way it is here, only because 64 and 81 are both perfect squares. We're taking 64 over 81 to the 1 half power, which means we're taking the square root of 64, which is 8, the square root of 81, which is 9, and so the answer is going to be 8 over 9, the fraction 8 ninths. However, let's do this in the calculator. Parentheses, 64 divided by 81 parentheses closed, caret, 1 divided by 2, right arrow key, enter. Oh, how ugly! Notice it says the answer needs to be an integer or a fraction, not a decimal. We can fix this. Math, frac is right there at the top, so I hit enter and enter again. And indeed, the answer is 8 ninths. So I click on the answer box. I click on the fraction uh, tool. I hit 8 on top and then 9 on the bottom. And I check my answer, which is, well done. I did it right. Problem 10, 17 to the 1 half power. Now, if you were to put that in your calculator, 17 carat to the 1 half power, enter, you would get an ugly decimal. And what's more, if you tried to math frac it, you could not. This is something we call an irrational number. And it cannot be expressed um, exactly. So what we're going to do is read the instructions. What a concept. Write the following exponent as a radical. OK, I can do that. This is going to be the square root of 17. So I go here to the square root key, and I write 17. I type 17 underneath it. I check my answer. Nice work. All right, let's go to 11, 4 to the 2 thirds power. I'll have 4 carat 2 divided by 3, enter. No, it's irrational. Rewrite in radical form. I have got to learn to read the instructions. So we're going to do that. Here is what we're dealing with. We're dealing with, look at the bottom. Look at the bottom of the fraction, the denominator, the cube root. So I have to go here. The index is going to be denominator 3. And 
underneath I'm going to write a 4 and then I'm going to raise the 4 to the second power. Now I know that 4 to the second power is 16 so it just might be true that we get a wrong answer. Ah, they counted it right. Number 12 deals with a letter and we're gone.